Hello there, I'm Black Knight and I have given it kind of a controversial title today. Um, first of all, thank you for subscribing, thank you for sharing, thank you for all your supportive emails. Um, yes, yeah, so today I decided to put a title, what investments should black people, what what should black people invest in? Well, it's a bit of a stupid title because there's no difference. I mean, investments don't come with a race or a colour, so it doesn't really matter. That's the first thing. But for some reason, black people disassociate themselves from stocks and bonds and bitcoins because they think, oh, that's a bit, you know, too upmarket for them. You need a lot of money. And they kind of put it to the back and they just... Um, put their money safely in a bank or whatever it is they do with it. So I just wanted to give you a quick rundown. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not a specialist, so I don't know much about it. But what I do know is that in order to invest in stocks and bonds, they have something called a robo advisor. So you don't even have to worry. Um, I always think, um, I mean, I'm a bit it's not really worth me investing, to be honest, in kind of stocks and bonds because it's like a strategic thing you need to do. So when you're young, you tend to put it, put money in and then years later you get a return on it. Um, what they say is, is that you should have um, no credit card debts. Um, you should have about six months salary in your account and you should only invest what you're prepared to lose. Um, it's a bit like lending money to a friend. You lend money to a friend and you're not sure if you're going to get it back. And so um, you hope to get it back, even if it's way down the line and you hope that your friend is going to give you interest. But then if you've got a lousy friend, you might not get it back at all. So it's a bit like that when you're investing in stocks and bonds. Um, what I always think about Eddie Murphy and trading places, how he just needed savvy. He was somebody from the street and he was given the opportunity and he just used common sense on what to invest in. Now, the thing with humans is that they tend to invest on the emotions. When the market goes up, they get all panicky and sell, sell, sell. And when it goes down, it's like, bye, bye, bye. <laughs> that kind of thing. I love that movie, Trading Places. Anyway, so, but what Robo Advisor does is that it's very good for beginners because it takes the emotion out of it and it works out your portfolio, it diversifies it and it puts money in where it's going to make the best returns. Because the thing is with Robo Advisor is that you pay for it. Of course, it's an investment, so you can get them for either 500 or 100,000, depending on the size of your portfolio. And I think it gets about between, um, I think it pays for service, I think, it's between £50 and £200. In some cases, depending, like I said, on the investment, the in, you know, what, the service it gets could be up to 50%. So you need to be thinking about how much you've got, how much you're willing, you're willing to blow, and how much you're hoping to get back. Um, so I would suggest... Number one, that you look into the robo advisor. It's a, like an automated online, um, it's like a robot really. And you just put your details in and you just let it go and do the job for you. And you can sit back and relax. And as long as you're not worried about the money, it's fine. If you're one of these people who are kind of on tender hooks and you want to know and you want to manage it yourself, then robo advisor is not for you. But if you are a person who's got a little extra dosh and you think, yeah, I'm going to let Robo Advisor sort it out for me, then that's fine. You can do that. I mean, some people who've got tax implications, they're going to need a financial advisor. You know, some people have complex tax things and they try to um, mitigate their taxes. Um, I know that if it's if you invest in retirement, you don't have to pay a fee, but you do pay a fee on withdrawal. And I think if you transfer or roll over to a robo advisor, you don't pay a fee on that. So, yeah, it's yeah, you of course, you need a little bit of DOS. You need to be pretty comfortable to start off with, but it's worth it. And I just thought I'd put it out there just to give you just for something to tickle your fancy. They also have the Bitcoin. Now, 
there's, there's kind of some kind of controversy about that. Some people say it's not wise to invest in it, an absolute no, no. And, you know, I'm a bit rebellious, and I think when people are saying no, 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 don't invite, don't invest in it, I'm thinking, why don't you want us to invest in it? But then, you know, I think it all depends, like, on the market. One minute goes up, one minute goes down, and I heard, um, let me see what it said. There was quite a big loss on the Bitcoin, which is why they said that. Um, I don't think I've got it written here. Uh, yeah, too much bloody paperwork. Okay, it says, um, experts have repeatedly warned against getting involved. Not only is Bitcoin extremely volatile, but investors in it and other cryptocurrencies are frequently targeted by criminals. The value of the Bitcoin has dropped in the past after 31 million worth of cryptocurrency tether was stolen. So Coinbase users have been targeted successfully too. And the best thing you can do is protect yourself and always proceed with, um, with caution. Scammers constantly use phishing attacks to try and trick people into visiting malicious websites that look official but aren't. They commonly send out fake but legitimate looking emails which you need to be wary of to stay safe. You simply shouldn't engage with them. Don't follow any links in messages or enter any private details they ask you for. Instead, you should always make sure you're on the right website or app. People are also being duped by malicious, malicious websites promising quick profit and trading tips. Again, use common sense to protect yourself and don't take any unnecessary risks. And Bitcoin um, transactions are irreversible. So if at any so if any of the currency leaves your account, you won't be able to get it back. You won't be able to get a refund. And it's always easy to lose a Bitcoin. And once it's lost, it's tough to get it back. So, yeah, so I'm, I'll just leave you to your own discretion whether or not you want to invest in a Bitcoin or whether you want to have a little stab at stocks and bonds. It does sound a bit exciting for the young and the restless who's got a bit of dosh to put away. But, yeah, I just thought I'd put it out there because it just seems so alien sometimes. Stocks and bonds. It does seem a bit alien, but it's not. So, yeah. That's all for now. Bye-bye.